So here today, gentlemen, we will fight for Manassas, which technically isn't under our command, but it will be potentially in the future. I'd imagine the enemy must be surely reinforced to, uh, at some point by the Army of the Potomac, because why would you engage the vastly larger army of the Virginia? Hmm. Right, deploy your forces from battle. Okay, so we have the Battle of Manassas here then. An army will vigorously attack the enemy in the uh, region of Virginia. We are facing the first court under the command of Erwin McDowell. Um, McDowell's quite famous, isn't he? Much strength of some 23,000 men and 47 guns. The enemy is green. The morale is reported to be eager. I should eventually uh, organize this army, but I guess we'll have to take it. We do have General Joseph E. Johnston. Okay. Uh, we'll take it from there then. So, I can rotate. Haha, <laughs> yes. Uh, this, uh, this looks very familiar. Why does this look very familiar? Why am I fighting on the bull run? Why does this look so familiar? Okay. Fair enough. I just feel like I've seen this before, but okay. Uh, right, I would move, uh, it might even be... Right, okay, this is bull run, yeah. Right, okay, uh, it's just we fought earlier on this, uh, map, didn't we, with, uh, Johnston. And he was further to the north, but... Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm just misremembering things I'm not too sure about. I could be wrong. Right, let's see. So I have some division. Trying to find the overall command here, actually. Right, there we go, Army of Virginia. Right, Virgo. So that makes it somewhat easier to actually command them. Well, we do have a vastly larger force here, which really does help us out considerably, so we'll have to just take our time to a degree there, really. Now, so if we take a look then, we do have the core sort of the divisions that can actually act independently of each other, which is actually really uh, superb, very useful. Uh, so we do have a lot of action uh, available to us. Which is very nice. So what I could do then is actually have them um, uh, organize as such. Uh, yeah, I would have liked to have actually organized this, but it seems they each have artillery, which is useful. So we have Long Street over here. We have here Smith. We have Hugers and uh, Ewells. 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 Richard Ewell. Ewell. I'm going to pronounce that. And uh, so if we take a look at this, then I'd imagine. Well, the army that we are opposing, the core, is about twenty thousand men, so it's not insignificant. But we do certainly have the advantage, and we just need to be able to make use of that. Uh, but we do have quite a few engineering points, so at least we have that. Supplies uh, should be okay. Hmm. Right then. Uh, so I think what we're going to do then is we're going to have the actual divisions march out as uh, we see fit, and then uh, order them into specific, uh, specific uh, positions from there then. Now Smith's division then, so we have 26 guns, we have 13 guns over here. We have under Long Street uh, 26 guns. So our right flank is going to be actually stronger than our left hand flank, which is fine. I will actually probably have a division as a reserve, perhaps. We do have the numbers, which is very useful for us right now. Yeah, the problem is they get to uh, have to get all the orders from the army and not a uh, core as a go between the other two, actually. Uh, but what we'll do then is we'll have things work out then. At least they actually will have their commander nearby, so it's not too bad. Uh, what I'll do then is actually. Um, I keep the game myself. Right. I'll go with it like that. Then. Right, okay. So I could turn off that initiative. Which we might do later on. Ideally this battle goes uh, well compared to the other ones that we had previously. Uh, but we will go ahead and actually deploy up over this way. But in fairness, I might want to actually go ahead and deploy in this area here first and foremost. And then at least we could move out from that point then, perhaps. So I'll have the division sent that way. Uh, we do have Long Street over here. I think I will have Long Street actually sent towards uh, the river over this way, towards uh, Bulls Ford over this, uh, this side. I'll go for that. And we do have this uh, territory over here, which is very useful. I was going to have the men deployed for the time being. 
Right, okay. Right, yeah. Well, what I could do then is actually have them deployed as the forward, and then we have uh, Smith's division as the reserve. I think I would like to have uh, Ewell's, uh, Ewell's, how, how do you actually pronounce that? Is it Ewell? I think it's you will, isn't it? It feels like you would be correct. Uh, Smith and Longstreet divisions. I'm asked if you could have the easier call right there. Yeah, pretty much. Essentially, they are very large. Hmm. And this is the situation, isn't it? If we're strong everywhere, then what's the point? I mean, obviously, it'd be nice if we're strong everywhere, but I don't think you can ever be truly strong everywhere. Right. I think what I might potentially do then is order... Long street down to this position here. I think what we want to do then, take a look at the actual situation, take a look at the terrain. We do have the forest over here, which is not exactly ideal. And we do have the open terrains over here, uh, so the open plains over here to some degree, which we can actually make use of. So I will have them actually move towards the ford over this way and potentially cross the ford uh, to some degree. But we'll see. We have the position of defender uh, for us, which is useful enough. Uh, we'll have them deploy that way then. Have you deployed there? And then what I could potentially do then is keep this division in the center as a reserve, perhaps. I'd like to be stronger on a flank. I'd rather be stronger on one flank than on the other flank and actually fight defensive on the left and fight offensively on the right if we actually get the opportunity to do so. Uh, so we'll go for that then, see how that works out. Okay. Ideally it works out well enough, who knows. It's a very large army. Is the largest army I've actually commanded here. And I'm sure we'll learn quite a lot there. And there we go, get moving. Okay. I'm going to have to zoom out here to avoid being copyrighted. <laughs> yes, looks like they're receiving their orders and they are moving out. Well, this is it. We don't know if the Army of the Potomac is going to arrive, though. I mean, that's the thing. We it, it didn't suggest to us that the Army of the Potomac would actually arrive. Um, but even if they do arrive, we do have a pretty good position to work with due to the fact that we are... Uh, well, we're on this side of the river, and well, this is it. Uh, they're the ones actually launching the attack against us. Uh, but again, I suppose we are actually attacking them, aren't we? So, uh, I've spoken incorrectly there. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if the Army of the Potomac will show up. We'll have to find out, really. So, we'll speed things up. At least we do have the ability to actually construct uh, fortifications or defensive uh, structures, which is quite useful. So I can see Longstreet himself is moving out this way. As is... Uh, right, so that's Joseph E. Johnston. Yeah, I would have liked to have had a few more divisions in here. Core Commander would have been very nice as well. Right, okay. I would have liked to have separated the cavalry, but this is it. We're going to have to get into the... Uh, it's going to be difficult because we are commanding a larger force. Uh, so we are going to have to get used to how to actually command it properly. So, right, we captured that. That's good. Uh, you would be surprised, right? I have something that is copyrighted. There is some sort of music that is playing on the videos that is having me... Um, Receiving copyrights, uh, well, a copyright status on the video. God, I cannot speak English. You think I'd be able to speak English at this point? You think I'd be used to uh, commentating at this point? But apparently not. I definitely do have my up days and I definitely do have my down days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what it would be to be professional. Are they tired? Oh, they're considered cut off, okay. Yeah, it's one of these. It's like. I try to stray uh, stray away from certain things like that. It seems to be like marching music seems to be somewhat copyrighted. Uh, some of them can be, it seems. But I'll bugger it. I don't do this for the cash. I do it for the love, man. The love of kicking union ass. <laughs> oh, dear. It's definitely a different situation having as many men here. <laughs> and failing, indeed. Hmm. Mostly clear. 
Right, so we have uh, Yule over here then, which at least we do have as a reserve. I don't feel particularly great. It might be worthwhile actually having them sent over here to Sudley Church to make sure that we actually do have it actually held. And I think that would be worthwhile to make sure we do hold this. I could potentially hold on this side of the river, perhaps, and potentially move over here to this side of the, of the fort, potentially to Red Hill Farm. I don't want to leave... Um, I mean, this is the problem here. Yeah, we do have to sort of commit to a flank, but we'll see. It might simply be better in that case and then actually hold off as a reserve. There's no easy choice. We're always going to have a weakness in the line somewhere. Right, okay, so the army is beginning to form up at least over here. So what I could go ahead and do then is have them... Uh, Unlimber. There we go. Figured that one out. Oh no, they had limbered. Right, okay. Unlimber. Okay. Hmm. In fairness, I need to hold the position over here at the top of the um, hill. It's frankly far better than anything else. I could tell them to go for the long-range fire. The accuracy may be poor, but mm, we'll see. Yeah. I could detach the cavalry, that's a good point. If I could have them detached, that'd be great. So I guess I'll have to wait for them to actually detach. I don't like having all the actual artillery on a flank here, being somewhat uncovered. I'd rather give them a hard time across than a river. Okay. Oh, how you doing there, Gollum? Good to have you, my man. Uh, hey, first time, I get to see you live on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. I mean, this is it. It's it's not that I'm not trying, <laughs> that I'm doing it on purpose. It's just I don't simply know about uh, all the commands as of yet. Uh, but learning, little by, little by little. Okay, I do have quite a few brigades over here. We have the uh, Hutt's Brigade here, which is quite good. Uh, so what we'll do then is have you positioned here. Right, okay. <laughs> you ass. <laughs> that's so mean. Uh, that's so mean. I'm going to have to go ahead and pause this, actually, because if things are going to happen, I'm not going to be able to respond to them properly. Uh, so let's see, then. <laughs> you ass. Right, so the cannon looked to be ready. I'm not too sure if he... Uh, it looks like they might be detached now, considering they have this here. Perhaps they are, perhaps they aren't. It looks like an order... Right, well, we do have our divisional commander here, which is quite nice. Still showing the red line, but it looks a different colour, so maybe that means that an order has been uh, moved out that way. Actually, we'll find out soon enough. And we're going to go ahead and do then is... Maybe I do go ahead and... Yeah, I think we will go ahead and actually defend this position to some degree. I'll have, like, a brigade hold down here and a brigade hold here, then. Okay. We do have a lot of forces out this way. Why do I have brigade over here? Or do I not? I'm not too sure on that one. Right, well, either way, we'll have a division form up over this way. Right, okay. I do wonder if you can actually play around with the actual uh, formations and how they move out and how they form up. I think you can give Jeb a scout order and I think it will go uh, find the first goal. But that'd be really quite good, actually. We could go ahead and give that a go. Right, okay. So, cavalry... 
scouts. Uh, maybe they'll go ahead and figure that out. We do have a cavalry over here, and I could go ahead and actually give that order to the other divisions, perhaps, and see if they actually do the same. Hmm. Does not seem so, actually. That's intriguing. So it looks like they don't have cavalry. Uh, Yule does, so we're going to have uh, scouts. And we'll see. We're going to have to learn here. Speed things up a little bit. Right, so... We could go ahead and actually construct some breastworks. I'm not too sure if I want to have that brigade there. Do you even belong here? Where the hell do you belong to? Right, that's that's Smith's division then. Yes, okay. Uh yes, we do have engineer points that we started with before the battle, so which is good. Right, they're moving out, okay. I'm kinda of waiting for a sign to the enemy before we can actually properly deploy then. So what I have here, I do have the Mississippi rifle, which is uh, exceptionally good. Right, okay. I like seeing the orders actually moving out here. Hmm. Now we'll go ahead and try that out, it's not a bad idea. I could go ahead and actually just have some skirmishes deployed over this way. You're part of the other division there. Okay. Go ahead and have some breastworks made. I uh, hope for the best, frankly. I have heard reports that supposedly the battle AI isn't exactly amazing at this point in time, but I suppose it's to be expected to some degree. Okay, looks like that division still forming up then. Uh, cannon's still moving then. Okay. Hmm. They should have had orders to move out this way. Um, I think really the best thing I could do is potentially move over this way then to Red Hill Farm. I think I will do that. At least then we are in a position. It is on the extreme flank, but this is it. I suppose we do need to actually be in a position that can possibly envelop the enemy. It's supposedly a weaker enemy force. I just need it to make itself known to us, really. 
we know which direction they're going to approach from, so I just need the enemy to give themselves away to some degree so we can actually make use of our numbers and envelop the enemy. That would be ideal. Oh wow, it's chucking it down outside. <laughs> need some music for this, <laughs> frankly. Uh, I try to detach Jeb. And I'm not too sure what happened there. I think he's detached. Is he detached? I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe he is. We'll find out. He looks to be. It looks like they are reacted immediately, so that's good to see. Yeah, it's not a small force, is it? I might leave that position there and allow the enemy to actually approach, uh, approach sorry, from that position. Right, Alto is finally moving up here. Hey, do that abstract. Good to have you, my friend. Uh, what do you think of our American Civil War? It's quite a bit different than anything you've experienced, isn't it? But we have had it. We have had uh, civil wars. Yes, uh, we have had a single uh, civil war, the English Civil War. We had the uh, one of the roads, I suppose you could call it as well. Um, I suppose uh, in a way you could obviously describe the uh, American Revolutionary War as a civil war to a degree. Uh, it's impressive. It, the scale of it is impressive. I mean, essentially, the United States is a continent-sized uh, nation. Uh, so it's impressive, nonetheless. I don't think you find many conflicts really of such scale, with such uniformity of culture to degree. Obviously, not saying that Southern culture and Northern cultures are entirely the same. It, it varies, of course, within even uh, England to a good degree. I love how they move there. It's the scale of it that's impressive. I need to do the reading to actually really make some sort of informed uh, opinion, really. Ah. Well, this is it. Uh, you always fight with the methods of the previous war, don't you? Right, okay. Try the Anarchy. Is that a book? I'll have to take a look at that. So I suppose what we will do then is continue advancing until we actually do find sight of the enemy then, really. At least we have the cavalry uh, detached, which is useful. And is a brigade. What do I have down this way? That's Why the hell are you down here? Oh, you're attached directly to Johnston. Ah, that's very interesting. Right flank turned blue, did it? It did, didn't it? Intriguing. Okay, okay. Right, I just saw that. Right, we'll have you march over here then to actually defend Sudley's, um... Well, it doesn't look... I don't know, it's actually hard to say here, but that's actually really intriguing, then. Uh, so at least we have something that we can begin to prepare for, then. Hmm. Where would the enemy cross over this way? So it looks like they would cross over this way, then. So what I can go ahead and do, we do have a little bit of time to work with this, which is nice. Uh, so let's see, we do have the Springfield musket here, we do have the Mississippi rifle. Uh, Mississippi rifle having a range of 500 yards. Okay. Then what I could do is actually deploy skirmishes out here, try to slow the enemy. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to redeploy more men than that. Actually, we'll see how the uh, turn out, well how the course of events actually turn out. Really, but if the enemy is approaching from the right hand flank, then we will take that in mind and we will push over here on the left. We'll see there. 
<laughs> but today I'm a rebel for you, brother. <laughs> the three biggest civil wars in England are the anarchy. Oh, right, okay, I see, I see. I don't think I've ever heard it described as such. Okay. So we do have a little hill over here, but I don't I don't want to overextend to a um, large degree, really. Hmm. I'm going to have you deployed down this way. I, I think I will have them in... Uh, I think b column movement, potentially you're ready to move out of them, would be a good idea. But obviously they'll change the appropriate mode of travel. Okay. Hmm. Try and pound the Napoleons. Right. It does look as if we are seeing the enemy moving that way. Right, so there we go, we have a scout order working. Oh right, I see. Well, technically, we attacked him, but we'll soon see then. They are moving out. Oh, good to have you, by the way, in a golem. You keep saying that, Grim, but we haven't seen anything about him actually being able to receive reinforcements, so... Uh, the battle was described as just against his course. I do not know if the game actually allows for that. Well, every time you say that, it makes me actually a little bit more paranoid. <laughs> just that little bit more paranoid each and every time. Ah, oh, thanks, Gollum. Hmm, maybe. Oh, hello. Right, okay, well we have something to work with right now. How are we seeing them right now? Interesting. So we do see a brigade over here of Union men. Interesting. I'm glad that we haven't actually completely moved the division. Uh, let's see. Have the scouts recalled? Will they just go ahead and merge? Yes. Right, see there are the carbines. 300 uh, yards. Okay. Hmm. I am leaving myself critically weak here, aren't I? So never mind. Uh, we will go ahead and actually move up a brigade over over that way at least. Okay. Right. 
Right, I see. So we are crossing over here then. I do have this brigade actually, which in fairness I think I will have sent out this way. And considering that it's attached directly to Johnson, at least I can actually use that as a um, useful reserve. Useful tactical reserve you can call using a brigade tactical. Uh, if that was what today, a brother that I grew up with and cherished every day would be a rebel and he was also born in South Carolina. Oh, interesting. If I know some might as well try to prepare some of these other positions here. Not that I think it particularly matters, so I don't think I will actually when I think about that. I just want to have them formed up correctly. At least you can actually change the facing nicely. That's quite nice. I'm going to go ahead and recall that detachment. There we go. Possibly. So we are seeing the brigade over here, though. We do have this being observed over here, so at least that's something to work with. It's unlikely to shift position there to some degree. Maybe on the right side would help. Right, okay. I think we'll go for the short range. Right, they'll figure it out, surely. It seems so. Pickets. Uh, mixed muskets. Right, there we go. That looks better. Okay. So we were aware of the enemy in this position here. Uh, not too sure as of yet. March back down that way. I should have some additional cavalry over here, but I can actually detach. So we'll do that in the near future. Hmm. Well, then in a pretty commander position over here on the hill, which is nice. Hmm. 
looks like they just wait on their order there. So cavalry will begin moving shortly. Yeah, the blue stars are a good giveaway. And the good news is at least when we see that star turn uh, blue, we'll know. Yeah, why is there a battery there? What the hell? Uh, <laughs> what the hell? That's also under uh, Johnson. Didn't notice that, actually. Very well spotted there, Golem. Very well spotted. So I didn't really notice that. Wow. So we do have some extra reserves that we'd not noticed, but I'd not noticed. It's because it blends in a little bit with the map there. Oh, wow, two of them. Very well spotted. <laughs> wow, that could have been bad. We'll get them shifted out there. Well spotted there, Golem. Okay. They'll get moving out quickly enough then. Right, okay, so we do see the main body of the Union Force over here then. Uh, as far as I can tell. Well, I'm, I'm saying main body, I don't know where the uh, rest of it is, but we see here. Um, First Brigade. Also, first brigade, <laughs> second brigade, third, oh, sorry, first division, then at least. I'd love to get me some of that artillery. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Currently static for some reason. All right, the answer is moving now. Right, I'm going to deploy this division down here, but at least they're actually in a uh, fit state to receive battle if needs be. Uh, but at least I don't have to worry about them being uh, poorly positioned, really. That's quite nasty because it does separate us, which is quite a problem. I can detach this cavalry, which is useful. Have you detached? I may as well form them up over here, really. It's not as large as the force. And the right hand shouldn't be too bad. We do have a good chunk of the forces over there. We do have the two more competent divisions out that way. Uh, I think we're looking fairly well. Hmm. And it's not exactly ideal because we do have the uh, brigade deployed all the way down out this way. But well, let's have the cavalry sent out this way. Do I have the right force selected here? Yes. Okay. They're equipped with the Enfield Musketoon, which is interesting. Four hundred yard range though is really nice. I do have another <laughs> brigade over here to the, of, under the command of Johnson, which is very nice. 
Right, let's see. Right, go build that. When the artillery arrives, at least I'll be able to position that. As far as it goes to this position over here, it's far too far away from the main body of the army to adequately defend. And, uh, well, we know if they're crossing there, we know where they're coming, so we'll at least can actually redeploy the artillery to face them. And um, it actually works well enough for us. They do have that covered position over here, but I could potentially detach skirmishes in there. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and check out this way. Let's make sure they are detached. Yes, they are detached. Yeah, exactly with Colston. He's not going to hold them there, but he's going to cause quite a bit of damage there. Uh, let's see, they do have the Mississippi rifle, so they should actually be able to cause a few casualties. The good thing about this position here, and the reason why I didn't deploy any further forward than this, is because uh, they have to they have to cross here, which is going to disorganize them, and then they would have to uh, cross again. But while they're in this position here of disorganization, I should, I and I do have range on them here, which is quite nice. Medium range. Uh, let's see, skirmishers. Skirmishers will be quite useful as well. Okay. Uh, you can pressure the enemy by crossing the river and taking some neutral targets. By the fence, we do have this over here, which I will begin to push forward. I'm going to have a cavalry move up over this way so I can try and get an eye. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, never mind, never mind. We do see the enemy. Uh, the enemy is actually set in their artillery, and I think I would like to try and uh, put a stop to that if I bloody well could. See, counter battery fire. Yeah, move to a position when you can actually engage there. Uh, intriguing, though, that they are moving up to this position here. And that is Hexima. Uh, we do have the additional artillery that has just arrived, which is excellent. I think uh, essentially what we're going to do here is concentrate artillery against these positions if we can. I do have the artillery over here that I can actually form up. Yeah, they'll be moving out shortly there. Right, there we go. But it's good to see that we have eyes on the enemy. What I'd like to do then is actually try and have a cavalry position behind so we could potentially try to screw with the artillery. Uh, let's see. Um, I would love you to fire if you could. Looks like they can't. Yeah, which can't blame it. Can't fall them for it. That is a very small brigade. I would like to have another brigade sent down that way then. Hmm. Right. So they've gained control of the turnpike, which is not too surprising. Why are you there? <laughs> Why are you there? This is where you should turn off initiative, isn't it? <laughs> right, 
Right, have them on Limber. At least then they can actually get ready. Hmm. Well, cavalry's moving there. Cavalry's moving over here to the north, so we stew it. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Ah, oh, right, we do see a brigade. So we've seen a couple of brigades out here now. They're shifting. But that's fine. I mean, if they want to push on the center here, then that's okay. I may have these brigades actually uh, pull back to Red Farm, to be honest. So I am somewhat quite far forward of supporting positions, too. So I think I will do that. I think it'd be foolhardy to be this far forward. We do see another brigade, sorry, another battery of artillery there. Mm-hmm. Right, I mean, this is it. If we do have a line of sight, I should be able to concentrate a sufficient amount of, uh... Oh, right, we do have the batteries opening up now. What exactly are you firing upon? Not too sure who they're firing upon, actually. Well, they're firing upon the enemy over here, so at least we do have line of sight on the road, which is nice. Any sort of damage that could be caused to the uh, artillery would be well, well served for us, really. Looks like they only had a momentary uh, ability to spot the enemy. Relocate that battery. Okay. And for some reason, I still don't have that much bit of a problem. Seems I have it, but it can't decide if I have it. Okay. 